Dr. Mark Addix from uh, DirecTV's Fantasy Zone, kind enough to join us. Uh, uh, doctor, you know, when you bring in the ambulance and you got a police escort, so w- what was at stake here? What did they, what, what were the precautions they were taking with this, with the dislocation as opposed to just the torn ACL? Well, when you have a dislocation, there's always, there's always the worry that you could tear an artery, um, which obviously makes it more of a life and death situation. And you also can have nerve damage. So it's important to get them seen uh, in a hospital setting so they can evaluate it quickly, uh, have doctors check the vitals of the leg, see, feel for pulses, download. Not that they couldn't do that on the field, but it's just a lot more of a high-stakes injury. What is a dislocation? So, I mean, essentially the end of your thigh bone actually gets dislocated from, from the top of the shin bone. And uh, I've actually had the injury. My second game as a pro, I was actually playing in the USFL, and I dislocated my knee. And, you know, I mean, it was a horrific injury. It was never felt pain like it. I hope I never do. Um, and uh, to tell you the truth, it's, it's, it's such a tough recovery. I, I was maybe 75% back after a full year and uh, never got more than about 85, 90 at most. Um, I mean, I did play nine more years in the league, but as a mobile quarterback, I think it affects you quite a bit more than a pocket passer or, or an offensive lineman. The, uh, so you're talking at least a year for him to come back. Can you come back and be 100% or close to it with that injury? Uh, honestly, I think 95 is about the, the most you can count on. Uh, you know, I mean... I think if you talk to guys in the league, are they ever really 100% anyway? Mm -hmm. Um, So I I think he can come back and play and play effectively. It's going to be a difficult surgery. It's going to be a very difficult uh, rehabilitation. I mean, it's possible for him to be back uh, even in nine months. But I I think that the first season back, he's he's definitely going to be probably 20% off of, uh, of where he was prior to this injury, and eventually maybe he can get to 90-95. When you see Tony Romo go, go down, he's got a broken bone in his back. And, and they say six to ten weeks. But what, from a doctor's perspective and somebody who played football, what does that mean? And at that position, what does a broken bone in your back mean at that position? Well, if you're talking about the little bones that are on the very back of your spine, or the, or the transverse processes, which he, he broke two of the transverse process uh, a while back and only missed a game. This is a different injury. This is a compression fracture. So the big bones that really allow your spine to stand up, they got crushed. And so this compression fracture is more worrisome. It is a fracture that you generally see in the elderly. And so with him having two transverse process fractures, three classical fractures, and now, now a compression fracture in his lumbar spine, I, the first thing I would want to do is, is check out a metabolic bone panel. Why are his bones fracturing more? Because I, I saw the injury. It wasn't super high impact or anything. I, I, I was surprised uh, that he has an injury that is going to require him to miss, you know, they're saying six to ten, but it could be, you know, you could talk three months out. I mean, it could take him even longer depending on how he feels. What is the injury now in football that is less dangerous to your playing career than, say, a generation ago? ACLs, are, I mean, I think people more reliably uh, heal from those. I mean, I, I think that we have got, in sports medicine, we have gotten better at everything, and in, and in orthopedics in general. Uh, we have gotten better. We're starting to use biologics, stem cells, and other things to help, help, uh, help people heal more reliably. So I think across the board, we're better. And my dis occurred back in 84. And so certainly the surgeries are better. But it, it is, regardless, it is a, a much tougher injury to come back from than, than just a straightforward ACL, talking Teddy Bridgewater's dislocation. Great to talk to you, Doctor. Thanks for joining us again. Thanks, Dan. Always a pleasure. Uh, Dr. Mark Addix from uh, DirecTV's Fantasy Zone. So on Fantasy Zone... They're, they have him on if there's an injury to anybody, and he's able to put it in layman's terms of what it is and how long they're going to be out. But what happened, and having been around somebody who uh, dislocated their knee 
that the nervous part is, is there any nerve damage? You know, could, could you be, you know, it's, it's an artery. Lose your leg. They were worried about that with Marcus Lattimore against Tennessee. They didn't know because that, that's all you want to do. When you, when you have an ACL, it's one thing. You, you always hear, it, did it pop? Doctors will ask you. Your coaches will ask you, did it pop? Now, if it popped, then they know you, you, you blew out your knee. But when it comes to a dislocation, it's completely different. And that's, that's going to be the big challenge for uh, Teddy Bridgewater. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.